The title slide is a very important slide in your presentation. It can make or break your presentation. So having a very attractive title slide is good for your presentation to keep your audience engaged. So here I have created one title slide. I have just put one image of the building and maybe you can just say that maybe this is your office building. So and then when I click it will just move the building slowly and then on curve comes and then you can put your uh, titles here and again the building move back so this will give a good opening slide to your presentation and then similarly i did the same one but with different colors so whichever color according to your choice you can put it there so again I have just put one more color with blue so it comes the text something like this so let's see how to do this intro slide in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle this much and shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to reduce the rectangle from the right side for that right mouse click go to edit points and you can see here the four points so I'm just taking this does this point and just dragging upwards so you got this particular shape and then I'm going to add two more points to add the points right mouse click bring it here right mouse click and just say add point and I'm going to add one more point here just say right mouse click add point so I have added two more points now this point I can just drag it upwards and right mouse click again just say smooth point so you got the smooth point and here also this I can just drag it outside so I got this shape and I can add one more point in the middle right mouse click again add point and this I'm going to drag it down you can see here and this also I can make it a smooth point and just adjust it so you can just adjust it according to your requirement just adjusting this one so I have got this shape now I'm just going to duplicate this slide right mouse click and duplicate slide and I'm going to use later in the present in the design so I'm going to the slide then select this shape press ctrl D to duplicate you can see here one more so for the meantime I'm just going to change the color to some gray color and I'll just put exactly on top of this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this only blue visible then I'm just going to delete the others so make sure that I'll just increase the size a little bit so that we don't have any uh, edges on the corner so first I'm going to select this blue and then the gray using the shift key I can select both under format go to merge shapes and just say subtract so you can see here I've just got this particular shape only Now I'm going to give some gradient fill for this. I'm just going to select this right mouse click, go to format shape and fill, just say gradient fill. And I'm just going to maybe two stops. I'm going to use the first stop. I'm going to give some, uh, maybe this color. And again here I can give some light color or I can just bring the other side also like this this is light and this is more dark then I'm going to the slide which I've duplicated I'm just 
go into the slide select this shape control c to copy and bring to con uh, come to slide 2 and just control v to paste it and then i'm going to give the same a uh, gradient fill for this but i'm just going to make it more transparent so i'm going to select this top and transparency i'm just going to increase you can see here and then go to format just say send to back okay and here also i can just increase the transparency level or you want you can just change the the direction also whichever direction you need you can just change it now i'm going to add one building image in the background for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to select picture or text fill i can just click that one so by default i have just used this building recently this image so it's coming or you want you can just go to insert from file and you can change the photo then i'm just going to reduce the this one zoom and then i'm going to put this image by covering the slide or going beyond the slide you can see here i've gone beyond the slide and the shape outline you can make it no outline and then just say send to back so you can see here our slide size is only this much but i have given it is more for example if i just give you some transparency effect you can understand see here our slide it's completing here only but i have used the image more than that of the slide size now for this i'm going to give some animation now let me just add the animation to this particular image first of all i'm just going to remove the transparency level maybe this much and then i'm going to have selected this image go to animation enable the animation pane for the meantime i'm just going to close this uh, format picture and add animation go down drill down and just select the line so by default it's going down so i don't want that to go down i want this to go towards the left side so make sure that this should not cross or uh, come on the slide so let me just keep this much only and just say okay so you can see here just release the mouse key keep it straight and just double click this one i'm going to remove the smooth and the smooth start timing maybe medium no problem and effect just say auto reverse and say okay so what happens here is you can see the building goes and then again it comes back here so that animation is done and that after this animation i'm going to select this curve this blue curve the line for that i'm going to give a maybe a wipe effect wipe effect i'll just say from left you can see here and timings you can make it maybe medium or fast let's see if i put medium so it comes like this, this is very slow so i'm just going to make it a uh, fast so it comes like this so that should happen i will say i can say with previous or maybe with previous and i can just give a, a delay of 0.25 seconds so let's see and then i'm going to use the same animation effect so i'm going to copy the animation to copy the animation first let me just select this curved i'll say animation and click on animation painter so it comes like this so again if i just play so it comes like this so let me just make this one timings instead of fast i'll just say medium so it comes slowly and this one it should be delay once that is finished they should start so i'm just delaying that one you can see and when i play it goes 
and then this is this comes so this also I'll make it medium so let me just play again so it is something like this and now I'm just going to add the some text so insert text box I'll just say type your heading here and just increase the size make it a font of your choice so I'm going to use century gothic make it bold and white background and if you want you can just add some detailed text also for this I'm going to use the animation called fly in so fly in I will say from left and this should happen with previous but I will just delay it so maybe like this and if I play so that image moves then the curves comes and then the text comes from the left side and if you want you can add it more text also here and this slide also right mouse click so this image right mouse click go to format picture and this transparency effect let me just remove the full transparency now if I play in the slideshow it will show something like this when I click it moves and the headline comes there because this is very fast I can just make this timing even very slow also and if I just play again in the slideshow when I click it is slowly moving and then the text comes there and slowly the building comes back to its original position that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye